Alright everybody, here's the Dell Attitude <coughs> D620. The one that I reviewed before, yada yada yada. The difference is, is I used some work from Leppy 700, I mean 700M, Leppy 700M. He did a boot 132 disc specifically made for the Latitude D620 notebook. And um, it says you need a retail DVD of OS 10.5.6. However, I only had the retail DVD um, of OS 10.5.4 server. So this is Mac OS 10 server. And, um, it installed without a hitch, but I realized that I got it for free because, you know, it was an evaluation copy. And the key expired in June, th June 30th of 09. So I had to set the BIOS time back for it to work. I'm not planning on permanently keeping it like this. What I'm probably going to do is I am going to get the Snow Leopard disc and use some of his newer work to do this. So let's turn it on. It does take a little while, but this... Computer is a 1.66 gigahertz Intel Core Duo, and um, you know, so it's not the newest computer. This is like a four-year-old system. Sound works. Ethernet does. Wireless doesn't. Trackpad and pointing stick do. So that's pretty good. And speakers work. I just probably said that. I haven't installed on my other hard drive. I've got a little thing to pull it out if needed. Um, I'm probably gonna see what happens when I update it. But this is so far what we got here. As you can see, a Hackintosh. I paid 300 bucks for this computer off eBay, and then I spent about 120 or 130 upgrading it. So you can see it says Mac OS 10 server, and I gotta log on. See, I'm entering my stuff here, and I just hit enter. Oh, never mind. The enter key. Oh, maybe it froze. Oops. Beach spawn. There we go. I think the reason it may have took longer to turn on is because we're using a um a server disk. Go to about this Mac. This is Mac OS 10 server version 10.5.4. Software update is that button. And then it says processor a 1.67 gigahertz Intel Core dual chip. 3 gigabytes of RAM. It says it's 667 <laughs> megahertz DDR SD RAM. Clicking on the more information button. The computer is recognized under hardware. A hardware overview. Model name, MacBook Air. Model identifier, MacBook Air 1, 1. Processor name, Intel Core Duo. Processor speed, 1.67 GHz. Total number of processors, 1. Number of cores, 2. L2 cache, 2 MB. Memory, 3 GB. Bus speed, 667 MHz. Serial number, which is S O M E R S L, blah blah blah. ATA, it recognizes it. Doesn't say there's built in audio with these buttons. Sure work. Bluetooth, nothing there. Disk burning, it recognizes that. Got the Intel GMA 950 chip in it. Under network, airport card, nothing found. How sad is that? So you know that's a OS 10. You can drag that to trash. I launch iTunes. Oh, maybe if I drag iTunes out of the trash. There we go. Let's see now if it opens. There's iTunes. Opening Safari. Like I said, Wi Fi doesn't work. And then Expose. Set that up. So you can kind of see that, that. And shutting off, I just press the power button. Hit shut down. Under one 
there's a pinwheel supposed to come up. Alright, it's off. So that is the Latitude D620 with Mac OS X server. Again, thanks to Lepi 700 m for making this possible. Great work. All I had to do is just like using Rebel EFI. And, and it had all the drivers for this thing, so there's no searching around. It's better, so why waste money on something like Rebel EFI? You know, I don't think it's even being sold anymore. But I'm like, Empire EFI. You'd use that, but if there are already specific bootloaders just for this computer, you're in luck. So that's a look at Leopard server on this computer.